Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to discuss about the nature of mathematics. So what is mathematics? Mathematics is defined as the study of numbers and arithmetic operations. Others describe mathematics as a set of tools or a collection of skills that can be applied to questions of how many or how much. Still, others view it as a science which involves logical reasoning, drawing conclusions from assumed premises and strategic reasoning based on accepted rules, laws, and probabilities. Mathematics is also considered as an art which studies patterns for predictive purposes or a specialized language which deals with form, size, and quantity. Whatever point of view is taken, there is no denying that the fact that mathematics is universal. People from around the world use math to get things done. It helps them perform daily tasks as well as make important decisions like buying wisely choosing the most appropriate uh, insurance plan or even betting on an outcome with the highest chance of actually occurring. The same mathematical concepts and language are applied regardless of whether users are Asians, Americans, Africans, or Europeans. In examining the development of mathematics from a historical perspective, it can be seen that much has been directed towards describing patterns of a relationship that are most of interest to various individuals. Patterns arose curiosity because they can be directly related to common human experiences. In this section, attention will be focused more on two points of view. These are the mathematics as a study of patterns and mathematics as a language. So according to, uh, before we go into the topic of uh, patterns, according to Galileo Galilei, mathematics is the alphabet with which God has written the universe. So it is true that mathematics is universal. So you can use it everywhere. Now let's go to our next topic, the study of patterns. So these are the four study of patterns. The logic patterns, geometric patterns, number patterns, and word patterns. So what is pattern? A pattern is an arrangement which helps observers anticipate what they might see or what happens next. A pattern also shows that what may have come before. A pattern organizes information so that it becomes more useful. The human mind is programmed to make sense of data or to bring order where there is disorder. It seeks to discover relationships and connections between seemingly unrelated bits of information. In doing so, it sees patterns. So here are the examples of patterns seeking behavior of humans from childhood to adulthood. In the illustration, you can see that a toddler separates blue blocks from red blocks. And then a kindergarten student learns to count. First grader does as skip counting. Then a third grader notices that multiple of two are even numbers. So there are so many examples of 
pattern seeking behavior a human of humans from childhood to adulthood other examples is a college biology undergraduate studies uh, the sequence of DNA and proteins or a stock trader studies trends in the stock market so in this situation there is an evidence of the study of patterns so now let's discuss the kinds of patterns in details the first pattern is what you call the logic patterns so as you can see in the illustration there are a series of patterns and then we have to identify which of the shapes below the sample images above so we have to identify which is the next sequence so what do you think is the next se sequence from the image image from above all right the answer is this one so can you identify now what's how the pattern or how the sequence is being uh, used in this image. Next one is the number patterns. So the number pattern is a pattern or sequence in a series of numbers. This pattern generally establishes a common relationship between all numbers. So another class of patterns is the pattern of numbers. Number patterns such as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 are familiar to you since they are among the first patterns encountered in school. Mathematics is especially useful when it helps predict events. So for example, what will be the 10th number of a certain pattern be? Or how many cookies would be needed if the party was for the school instead of just for the class? Moving, moving on onto the higher uh, level of your studies, you will encounter number patterns like this one through the concept of functions, which is a formal description of re relationship among different quantities. So let's proceed to the example. So as you can see in the first example, 11, 17, 23, 29, 35, 41, 47, and 53. So as when you are going to compute the sequence, so there's a difference of six in each uh, series of numbers so you have from 11 you need to add 6 to, to make it 17 and then 17 plus 6 to make it 23 and so on and so forth the second example is 18 15 12 9 6 and 3 so from here if we are going to start from 18, you have to uh, deduct 3 to make it 15. And then the next one, 15 minus 3 is 12. So uh, 12 and then you have to deduct 3 also will become 9. So the pattern is uh, easy to identify in this example. So next uh, kinds of pattern is the geometric patterns. 
This pattern is a motif or design that depicts abstract shapes like lines, polygons, and circles, and typically repeats like a wallpaper. Visual patterns are observed in nature and in art. So in art, patterns present objects in a consistent, regular manner. They appear in paintings, drawings, tapestries, wallpapers, tilings, and carpets. A pattern does not need to repeat exactly as long as it provides a way of organizing the artwork. Patterns in nature are often more chaotic. Nature provides many examples of patterns, including symmetries, spirals, tilings, stripes, and fractional dimensions. So these are the example of geometric patterns. In this image, the first uh, shape is triangle, then followed by a square, then two triangles, then a square, then three triangles and a square. So as you can see, the number of triangle triangles are growing. So from one, then two, then three. And they have an ev in, uh, in every increase of triangles, there's a square. So what do you think will be the next pattern? All right. The next pattern is, of course, you need to put four triangles after the three triangles. Okay. The last kind of pattern is word patterns. So as word pattern is, uh, can also be found in language, like the morphological rules on pluralizing nouns or conjugating verbs for tense as well as the metrical rules of poetry. Each of these examples supports mathematical and natural language understanding. The focus here is pattern in forms and patterns in syntax. So this will lead directly to the study of language in general and digital communication in particular. So as what you can see in this example, knife, then knives, then life, lives, wife. So what will be the next word? All right, the next word will be wives so that ends our discussion for today so the what we discuss is about the to summarize is about the meaning of mathematics and then the four kinds of patterns the first one is the logic patterns, the second is the number patterns, the third one is the geometric patterns, and the last one is the word patterns.